Hi, uh, I'm Simon Harris, an executive producer at Supermassive Games, and we're here talking about Tumble VR. So what's this experience all about? So this experience is about um, the immersiveness of putting on a virtual reality headset, being in a virtual reality world, uh, and testing your mental and physical acuity. So it's a puzzle game. It's all about building blocks, stacking them as high as you can, working out how to solve puzzles to achieve goals, blowing up big towers of blocks, um, all in a virtual reality experience. Creatively, what has this opened up for how you think about developing games? Um, creatively, I think it opens up a new way of interacting that is more immersive and more user-friendly than anything we've done before. Tumble originally was actually a PlayStation 3 Move title, which was originally designed to show off the Move controller tracking. Um, and when we built that, we had to put in all sorts of assistance to do with Z depth because of people using the TV screens. It was a great puzzle experience, but you know you still had that barrier of translating 2D to 3D and back again. With VR, you put it on and suddenly you reach down, you pick up the controller because it's there in virtual reality as well as it is in reality. You lean over, you pick up a block, it's there, you can look at it, you can spin it round, you can put it down. It just becomes so intuitive and immersive. And then we combine that with uh, the ability to do brain teasing puzzles and you get a really great puzzle game. What, what are some of the different environments and types of puzzles people will be experiencing? So all of our environments are sort of big cavernous spaces, but where we focus on is the different type of puzzles. So you have ones where you have to stack a tower as high as you can. You have puzzles where you have to bridge between different objects. Uh, you have things where you get different types of blocks. So we have levels where you have to direct the light all around levels, changing its color with certain types of blocks, reflecting it through other types of blocks. So lots of physics-based things. Then we have our destructions levels where you build an enormous tower of blocks then you place mines and you get scored based on how far apart you can blow them. And then finally, we have a whole bunch of cooperative things. So Sony talk about a thing called social screen, which is where the VR player has one view, and then another second player can pick up the controller, see something different on the TV and interact. So we have a co-op mode where the VR player is being helped by the co-op player to build the tower. And so we have different awards for that. And then we have a competitive mode where the VR player has to try and build a tower and the co-op player has to try and smash it down.